Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Christen's Crosses for Tuesday, October 10th, 2023, Tuesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 10, verses 38 through 42. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel invites us to reflect on the well-known story of Martha and Mary. This passage is not just a tale from biblical times, but a narrative that is deeply ingrained in the fabric of our everyday lives, especially in the hustle and bustle of today's world. Martha, a symbol of active service, is contrasted with Mary, the epitome of contemplative listening. In a world that often values the Martha in us where productivity, efficiency, and action are prized, the essential role of the Mary is often overlooked. We are inundated with tasks, responsibilities, and the constant noise of digital media. Our lives are sometimes so loud and busy that the gentle whisper of God struggles to be heard. In today's context, Martha represents each one of us when we're absorbed in the world's clamor, immersed in the ceaseless demands of work, societal expectations, and the relentless influx of information from our smartphones and computers. Martha is the epitome of a world that tells us that doing more equals being more. Yet, we are reminded of the profound need for silence, reflection, and spiritual nourishment. Mary chose to be present, to listen, and to embrace the moment with Jesus. Today's Gospel is an invitation to pause amidst our hectic lives and create spaces of silence and reflection where we can hear God's voice. So, as we step out into the week ahead, let's ponder, how can we be more like Mary in a Martha-dominated world? How can we carve out sacred spaces amidst our daily tasks to sit, listen, and be in the divine presence of Jesus? And so today, let's pray and listen for the still, quiet voice of Jesus in our hearts and enjoy this moment of being in His presence. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.